If you follow Open Road for Two, you know there's the number one thing that fuels our adventures, and that is coffee. We love our coffee. It's just something we have to have every morning to start the day. And since we've been doing our adventures, we've kind of tried different methods of making camp coffee, and we want to share our favorite with you. So stay tuned. So we started out with a percolator and a percolator is pretty simple and it's kind of an all-in-one uh, set here, but you pour the water inside, your coffee ground goes inside, put the top on, percolator down inside, and then we're going to warm it here. It's going to boil the water, push it up through the straw here into the, into the basket. So the second method is this Eureka pour over. It's a handy dandy bucket here, which you take off the top, boil your water in the bucket, and this is the pour over carafe. Now let's talk about the coffee. I love a dark roast. Who doesn't love America? Black Rifle Coffee Company, murdered out, thumbs up. As you can see, the water as it boils will uh, rise up on the uh, percolating method and it starts to darken. And you keep it going for about as long as you'd like. When you see a color that you like, you stop it. So for the Stanley one, we're going to pour the grounds directly into the bottom of the press. That, a little, let it sit. We're not going to press it down yet, but I want to keep the heat in, so I'm going to put the press back in. I'm going to let it sit for about three to five minutes before I press it. not watching your percolator carefully, it's going to boil over on you. Now you got to be careful with the percolator. With one like this is because the, uh, the hardware is hot, the handles. So after tasting each of the coffees, based on just flavor alone, not on how the method was used or ease of use, um, my favorite flavor was the pour over and second up was the Stanley um, French press. In regards to overall ease of use, I think the Stanley wins out um, only because you can boil and put your coffee, it's all in one. You don't need a separate unit. Um, super quick and easy. However, the Eureka wins out um, in regards to each component collapses and nests into each other. And, you know, this has our coffee in it. Well, the boiling pot still up on the stove. We could be cooking breakfast right now, um, making oatmeal, making chili for a um, meal at lunchtime. Um, so this one's definitely more efficient and you want your gear to work for you. So you don't have to work harder. You can work smarter. So you're watching the video. What do we recommend? What's the best camp coffee, Overland Coffee at Base Camp? Well, in our opinion, number one is definitely the Eureka Pour Over. One, because it's multi-purpose and efficient, and it just makes a really good strong cup of coffee, which we like. Um, number two, we have to give credit to the Stanley French Press. It makes a great cup of coffee. It's smaller. Um, we'll use that when we go out on a day trip or just a day hike, and we want to catch a sunrise like we did today and make a cup of coffee. 
we do not, we do a thumbs down on the percolator. Yes, it was our first thing. We were just starting out. We got it at a Walmart. It does make a good cup of coffee, but it is just messy. The grounds get everywhere. And there were many times that we had cups of coffee where you smiled and you know that what I'm talking about. You get those grounds in your teeth. So all in all, number one, Eureka. Number two, the Stanley French Press. Get on on trail, make a great cup of coffee and enjoy your day.